perfect. And, it, you know, it's just there, there's so much stuff that I, I think a lot of people just don't realize they go into before you really start playing instead of just leaving it up to a game of chance um, and what goes into, you know, those sayings. And when it comes to, like, scheduling the times for these players, is there anything specific you guys have to worry about or when getting into the schedule or what happens when, like, timings and matches kind of go haywire? Mm. Uh, this is a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. Um, most of the time, this is where like uh, being organized and well grounded kind of comes into place. Uh, it's usually best to uh, verify with the specific tournament staff or tournament organizer before their respective day. Uh, be pushy if needed. Like recheck, ch recheck, recheck ten times if needed. Um, because uh, as Mando mentioned before, um, there's no guarantee that, uh, should something go wrong where, uh, you know, the respective manager is hundred percent going to be there at the, at the respective hour. Uh, you know, there are other things, uh, besides C ops. So, um, you just have to do your best, uh, and, and make sure that uh, the scheduled time is the time, uh, where everything is played. Uh, but again, it all, it also depends on the, the team captain, um, in game leader also. Yeah. Their, yeah. their their capabilities of just ensuring that um, uh, that everyone is is ready on both sides, uh, you know, players and tournament staffs. Uh, well, but yeah, usually uh, the the top team captains, uh, you know, they take care of this, uh, take a little bit of uh, pressure off of the managers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, the team captain likes to schedule the match as well as tell the team, but for. Our scene, uh, my scene specifically, which is North America, a lot of the players choose not to show up on time. We're always late to the game, trying to do <laughs> something else. I have uh. to make sure they show up on time at least. And another thing, because um, I'm a tournament manager and tournament director as well, it's, I think, a bit more easy for me because I know when the match is going to be played because I was the one who scheduled the match. A little bit more easy for me. Yeah, okay. Then yeah, it's going to be more easy right? for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah, bit yeah. easier. <laughs> Yeah, you get a little bit of inside information there, being the one to, you know, schedule those types of things. You're like, oh, yeah, you guys should probably be available Wednesday, you know, because uh, we're going <laughs> to announce that it's going to be Wednesday. <laughs> right, yeah. It, of course, it also depends on the players. I remember there was um, there was one funny moment in Circuit Season 4 with Elevate EU uh, when the staffs got upset. I think it was Xelomance, uh who did his recording late because he was playing Clash of Clans before the game. Oh, oh no. <laughs> There's some things you really can't handle. It's like, well, mm -hmm. okay, what could I have done about that? Uh, he was pretty set on playing Clash of Clans before the game, so it is what it is. Yeah, you know, people play other games too. You know, they're not just, you know, hold to the wall, you know, critical ops. I mean, there's variety in the mix, but uh, I don't know, you know, maybe maybe don't play it. I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes before, maybe stop stop playing, make sure everything's looking good, you know? You know yes. just, just a little ahead yeah, of time. Would be a lot better. Would be a lot better. <laughs> like players, if you're listening, please make our lives easy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah make sure you give yourself at least a i don't know 10 15 20 30 it would probably be wonderful for everyone yeah. to, of a buffer like hey i'm ready and you're good to go yeah 